Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be personalizing these popsicle sleeves for my kids. And I'd like to share Cricut newbies on how to place HTV on a neoprene fabric with your Cricut Easy Press. I am just cutting the sleeves in half. They are a bit long for my kids, but no worries. I can just make more out of it. And I got these on Amazon and I will link it under the description box if you guys want to check them out. But first, let's go to Design Space and grab a shape. And I'm just going to unlock it here. You can also unlock it up here to resize the shape. And I'm going to size it to 4.25 by 1.9. Then hit enter. Just so you know, I'm only using the shape as a reference. So let's go up here and click on the black box. And you can choose the color you want. And you can also click on advance to customize the colors that you need. Now let me bring the shape up here, then I'm going to click on the left side panel for text. Then type my kids' names. To change the font, go up here on the left top panel and click on this. You can use any font you prefer or you can also do a search on the search bar. I'm going to unlock the text down here on the corner and then I'm going to pull on this green circle just to resize the text however I want. Let me move the text a bit up here and I'm going to change the text color to white just as a reference so I can see how it looks. Now click on this text, Advanced, Ungroup by Lines. Now you can move each of the names and see how big is the text against the reference shape. I am okay with the size of the text, so I'm just going to grab the shape and delete. Now I'm going to place the names next to each other this way. Select all. Click attach. Then click make it. And you can confirm here that this is a cut. Click on the mirror to turn it on since we are using an HTV. Then click continue. I want a custom setting, so I'm just going to choose iron on. And right here, you can change the pressure if needed. Then let's go ahead and prepare the cutting mat by placing the HTV shiny side down. Then load the mat into your machine. Just click start and we'll start cutting. Okay, so let's go ahead and weed the vinyl. And I like to poke and pull the vinyl from the corner. So if you don't know where to weed first, I always recommend that you start from the corner. You can't go wrong with this technique. Now let's grab one of the sleeves and figure out which side you want to place your HTV. It's completely up to you. Then place your Cricut Easy Press, and the temperature I have this on is at 280 for 20 seconds. Then just hit the start button. Wait for the HTV to cool down a bit, then carefully remove the carrier. And I'm going to do a couple more on this video, and that's it. All right, you guys, let me know what you think of this tutorial, or if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or leave me a comment. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching, and God bless.